So we have taken this. So this is one of the server, which is called as, so as I said, we are going to look at three servers. This is a rampage. Okay. Second is a Ramchandran server and third is mole property. Now, um, for the PDB file, um, for sake, you can take any PDB file uh, which you like, um, which you have. I have uh, taken um, 4MZI, which is a uh, human mutant P53 uh, protein. It's your choice. You can take any of them. So, let's say, so if I choose the file 4MZI and then I click on open, then for Ramchandran server, I'll, I'll do the same thing. I, what, what we can do is, yeah, we can type 4MZI here. Okay, so what I'll do is, I'll click here, submit to Rampage, then I'll click here, 4MZI, submit here, and then I'll go to uh, Mall Property. There are two ways you can choose a file or you can directly, probably let us do it directly, and then I click on Fetch. So let's see what happens. This is your Ramchandran results. Okay, these are your Ramchandran uh, plot of uh, the, the server results. And here, okay, so let's see, I'll, I'll first talk here. Okay, so this thing will come up, then you can click on continue. So I'm talking about mall property. You can just ignore all of this. Okay, and Click on Analyze Geometry. Okay. So you click here. Yeah. Then it shows you what outputs you want. Our main focus here is the Ramchandran plot. Okay. So you can see Universal Protein is the Ramchandran plot. Okay. Um, yeah. So then you can go down and then you can click here. That is, you can keep the default. I mean, whatever you want. But then our main focus is your Ramchandran plots, which is being given here. Then you click on Run Programs to perform these analysis. Wait. So it's generating uh, the file. Now, till the time is generating the file, I think I will talk about the first one, which is your rampage here. Now, if you see, there is a um, it sh it shows uh, there is something which is called as an allowed region. There is an outliers. Okay. And uh, the number of uh, residues uh, which are favored, how many are allowed, how many are outliers. Now, if you can see that there is no image being generated. Okay. The reason I wanted to show this to you is because uh, there has there are some problems with the Rampage uh, server, and that is why they are not able to generate the images. But this server is able to generate some really good images for the Rampage. Uh, uh, for the Ramchandran plot. So I hope they fix it, but this was the results what is there, okay, which we have got from Rampage. Now, I know you might not feel happy about it, but don't worry, we have the another one, which is um, the Ramchandran server. Now, it gives us this uh, Ramchandran plot, which is there. Now, this might be small, okay, I will try yes okay fine so this is your ramchandran plot which was generated if you can see this is your first quadrant um, uh, this is your second this is your uh, third and uh, this is your fourth quadrant which is there now this is your beta sheets your left and your right so you can see a lot of proteins being here now uh, can you see these uh, squares one which is here yeah okay now if you see some of the squares are also in your fourth quadrant now if you remember the fourth quadrant or most of the regions like this are what we call as your disallowed regions now who are these proteins who are actually hanging out in the disallowed region okay you can have some guesses okay or otherwise um, yeah the answer is in three two one okay the uh, the squares are nothing but your glycine uh, residues here i told you the glycine residues are actually the ones which can um, uh, are actually the one uh, which are very uh, free to move 
and that's why what you see are the glycine residues here so you have 14 glycine residues in the prism but in this thing what you have to observe is there is one outlier if you can see this asterisk here this is one outlier okay what it's suggesting in this case they are suggesting that you have uh, the leucine which is an outlier so in this entire p53 they have predicted one of the amino acid which is not following the um, which is uh, causing uh, which is not as a part of your um, uh, as a part of your uh, uh, structural integrity and it um, it's giving some weird uh, coordinates for this so that is what is basically an outlier in this case so um, the rampage ramchandran server uh, we have these um, uh, we have these things now if you are still not convinced with this and you think it's black and white okay there's no fun in this so then we have with you is the small property so the analysis it was carrying out uh, the analysis is done for this but we have to look at the graph so um, yeah so this is your results now let's look at your Ramchandran plot you can see the PDF you can click on view here and we can see the Ramchandran plot PDF okay it's been generated in this case they have predicted two outliers as you can see here okay uh, it happens i mean it depends upon what your server are uh, but i am pretty sure that's the outlier must be something different what it's predicting yeah okay um i hope this looks much better than in the first uh in the previous case this looks much colorful okay uh yeah these are your general cases that is um sorry that is your this case so it's a colored format of this if you can see the leucine okay the leucine here is your outlier what it has uh predicted mm. i think the next outlier okay before let me jump okay uh, this is your isoleucine and uh, valine uh, amino acids yeah these are your prolines here this is your pre proline okay so now uh, there are three there are three types of prolines this pre trans and cis proline um, i won't go into details of this but if you remember i told you proline is something which is uh, very bulky okay and uh, that's why uh, these prolines uh, the prolines have to be uh, have been mentioned here okay is uh, how much so if there's more amount of prolines uh, in your um, protein structure that means uh, the less conformational changes a protein will have okay that is the significance of proline in your protein the more the proline the more bulky it is the less number of um, rotations it will carry out so the freedom of rotation is the least and uh, the conformation won't be able to change a lot okay the other thing is your glycine you can see the glycine is everywhere okay and if you look at these glycine and um, what we saw at this here what we saw this glycine okay it was in all the regions it was in a disallowed region also so this thing and yeah this was the second it has predicted glycine as an outlier here okay like in the first case it was leucine it has predicted glycine this was leucine as one of the outline um as i told you glycine is everywhere because it is so free to move so it can't be considered as an outlier but yeah so uh, all the three have predicted leucine as an outlier and this is how the ramchandran plot is uh, i showed you by three of the servers um, three of the servers gave the same result but just um, uh, how they um, sh uh, how they uh, you know pick uh, predicted it, how they uh, showed it to us okay was bit the representation okay that's the word the representation was different in all the three cases and i think uh, mall probability gives us a much better and a colorful uh, look uh, Ram rampage also used uh, used to give a good look i i hope the server works and it also gives a similar color thing but so in all these three um, you have you get a better image from mall probability so uh, yes yeah, so this was how you uh, predict 
um, Ramchandran, uh, this is how you uh, generate Ramchandran plot and um, uh, also this is uh, how uh, you analyze a uh, Ramchandran uh, plot okay once it's generated okay uh, I hope you have understood uh, the video and uh, thank you uh, very much uh, for uh, listening uh, uh, please don't forget to like share and subscribe and um, yeah have a good day thank you bye Oh, oh, oh.